One of the quickest and easiest ways to increase your productivity in Creo Parametric is by configuring the Quick Access Toolbar. And that is this set of commands in the upper left hand corner of the screen. And by default, you have commands like new, open, save, undo, redo, regenerate, switch between windows, and close. But if you really want to get faster in Creo Parametric, any commands that you are going to use frequently, you should place up there at the top of the screen. The way that you can configure this is by going to File, Options, and then Quick Access Toolbar. And by the way, I'm doing this in Creo Parametric 3.0. Uh, because it is not as easy in Creo Parametric 3.0 as it is in 4.0 and later versions. Uh, and I'll make another video where I show you how it's easier later on. But if you're in Creo Parametric 3.0 and earlier, you're going to have to go to File Options, Quick Access Toolbar, and the interface looks like this. The other way that you can get to the command is from a little drop down arrow that allows you to turn off or on the icons that you already have in there. If you click more commands, it'll take you right to file options, quick access toolbar. Now let's take a look at some of the ones that I recommend that you have in here. When you are choosing commands by default, it's going to show you the model tab. But if I go to applications menu, I'm going to scroll down and find the command for server management. If you're using Windchill, I highly recommend that you add this to the quick access toolbar. And after you add the icon, you can use the up and down arrows to position it where you want it to be. Another command that I like to have in there is erase not displayed. If you are using a lot of simplified reps and switching back and forth between them, you have to click erase not displayed in order to clear out your RAM if you actually want to see some improvement in your computer's behavior. A lot of people don't know that. And also from the set of commands in the application menu, model properties. And this is where you assign materials to a part, uh, also where you can access your parameters, relations, family tables, everything in one location. And next up, I use a lot of layers in my model, so I could go down here and say, oh yeah, let's go to the view tab. But if you can't remember what tab commands are on, you can just choose all commands from here and all the different commands will be listed alphabetically in here and that might be easier than switching between the tabs that you have so here's the layer command i'm going to click add and what i'm doing is as i'm adding them i reposition them where i think they would make the most sense and let's see some other ones i'd like to have in here i access my parameters a lot let's go find that one in addition to parameters, I use relations, equations between different dimensions and parameters in my model. Let's go and add that to the quick access toolbar. Also, publish geometry is in an overflow menu on the model tab. It's available on the tools tab. And so one of the advantages of using this is to reduce how much you are flipping between the different tabs in the software. All right, one last one that I'm going to throw in here from the analysis tab, the measure command. So I've got my different commands in here. You can also add separators in order to organize them a little bit more. So I can put a separator and maybe I'm going to have a separator between the server management and my more model oriented commands. And if you want to, you could go ahead and you could import, excuse me, export this to a file. But the nice thing about this is that it exports it automatically for you. So once you make these changes, you don't have to save the file. It saves it as you're doing it. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And now you can see that I've got more commands up here in my quick access toolbar. And this really helps me out. Now let's talk about the disadvantage of Creo Parametric 3.0 and earlier versions. So right now I have a part model open. I'm going to use my Windows drop down menu to switch over to an assembly. It's the same default toolbar in assembly mode. The changes that I made in part mode were not automatically applied to assembly mode. 
and the same thing if I switch over to a sheet metal part or if I have absolutely nothing open well I just have this default menu over there and I might really want to have server management available if I'm working in wind chill and I have nothing open I've just fired up Creo parametric so again the downside in Creo 3.0 is that you have to customize every single mode that you use frequently and it turns out there's actually about 26 different modes in Creo when you start looking at Creo simulate and you look at the different kinds of assembly models that you have also things like if you're working in manufacturing modes but most people only use about five or six different modes so in Creo 3.0 really you would want to set this up for having no models open uh, part mode sheet metal mode assembly and again if you're any other ones that you use frequently go ahead and update those as well and I mentioned that the file gets saved for you automatically let me just go and show you where that ends up and so here I have just a Windows Explorer window and if you want to see where it gets stored you can type in the toolbar here app data a p p d a t a and you put percent signs at the beginning and the end of that and that'll take you to your app data roaming folder if you go to ptc pro engineer wildfire dot wf settings there is the creo parametric customization dot ui file that stores any configuration excuse me any interface changes that you make during your creo parametric session thank you very much if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified whenever new videos are added new videos are added every single week thank you very much